I'm Jess Finster, Community Director at Bethesda, and I'm back at Bethesda Game Studios doing another round of Constellation questions. Thank you so much to everybody who submitted your questions on Discord, Reddit, Twitter. We really appreciated reading them all. Today we're talking with Starfield's lead quest designer, Will Shen, on Quest. So let's get started. Hi, Will. Hi, Jess. Do you want to give a brief intro to yourself so they can get to know you a little bit better? Uh, sure. I'm, I'm Will Shen. I'm the lead quest designer on Starfield, and I am also responsible for the main quest. Well, we got some of the top questions from our community that they want to know about Starfield. First question. One of the best things about the previous games were random encounters that you have in the world. For Starfield, how has the random encounter system been improved or expanded upon, if at all? So, very exciting. This time around, we have entire planets that we have to populate. So we actually have new tech to take whole locations that we've built and put them on the planets. Now, you could say maybe you're going to uh, an outpost and you actually discover there's a whole group of people there with a particular problem. Whereas, you know, before it might be just a person coming up to you along the road, now it's an actual whole location that can be put there. And maybe they have a problem like one of our member was kidnapped, they, they've been kidnapped by some pirates, and we think they're over there. We actually are replacing a whole other location with that person in it and enemies around it. So it's a dynamically placed settlement that is taking you to a dynamically placed dungeon as you're, as you're walking through the planet. So basically, at any point in time on a planet, you can just experience a random encounter anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think we're really only just scratching the surface of what that tech can do. We can see what looks like Earth's own solar system in the Starfield gameplay trailer. Will there be quests taking us back there and exploring how things have changed? Yeah, actually, very early on in the main quest, we take you to our solar system, which in our, our lore is called the Old Neighborhood. Nice. And you'll be uh, being sent there on a mission from Constellation to discover the mysteries of uh, the artifacts and you'll get in contact with the uh, question of what happened to Earth, but also you'll go to Mars, and there's actually a settlement, one of, one of the early settlements that humanity uh, created after they left Earth. Uh, it's called uh, Sidonia, and that's a whole city with its own problems and people in it. How will faction quest lines work compared to other BGS games? Can we join multiple factions and complete all of them, like in Skyrim, or does joining one lock you out of certain others, like in Fallout 4? Yeah, so one of the early things we decided on was making sure that the main quest actually kind of gives you a little bit of a tour of the settled systems and all of the major players there so that we can give you a, a taste of what they're going to be up to. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. We also discussed really early on, like, okay, do we, do we make some of the factions in conflict with each other? And we decided, you know, we really want to make sure that you can play through all the faction lines uh, independently of each other. And this time around, we were like, no, we really want the stories to be a little more personal, right? You're influencing the direction of where this faction is going to go. So say the politics of the Free Star Rangers, right? You know, what's more important? Is it justice or industry, right? Where are you going to try to nudge them in this direction or another? So you don't necessarily end up as the head of every single faction of the game. But, you know, obviously all the major characters and every faction questline will be reflecting on your choices. But, you know, it, it can have far-reaching consequences for what that faction is, what it cares about. What will the role of some of the companions be during quests? The companions along the uh, Constellation storyline, which is the main quest, they'll have a lot of opinions and uh, points of view about what the decisions you'll be making along the main storyline. We've also added in several times where you can ask them to speak for you. So you cool. might have a companion with you and, and you'll be challenged to someone will tell you you can't get through here and you can actually you know, turn to your companion and say, hey, actually, could you handle this? And they'll actually speak on your behalf and there could be consequences, uh, good or bad, for what they happen to say. And, and all the usual things you would expect from Followers, right, they'll follow you into danger. You can trade equipment with them. And, you know, they'll also be crewing your ship, which is new. So they'll be helping out on your ship as well. Will NPCs react in different ways depending on how the player completes a quest? Yeah, I mean, all the quest lines have major characters, right, that they'll reflect on the decisions you're making. Have opinions about whether they're good or bad. You know, and for a few of the storylines, and including the main quest, who ends up with you at the end, right? You know, there are 
some, you'll be determining the fates sometimes, whether someone lives or dies, or whether someone's still in the, in the faction or decides to leave the faction. There's a lot of different things that'll happen.